हैव यू एवर यूज सोडियम बेंजोनेट टोल्यूइन न्यूट्रॉक्स एन लिक्विड क्लोरोक्सिल एनॉल कुछ समझ नहीं आया ना वेट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन कोका कोला तो पिया ही होगा घर में पेंट भी करवाया होगा एंड यू मस्ट भी ओनिंग वन पेयर ऑफ फेडेड जीन्स एंड डिटॉल हैंड वॉश भी यूज़ किया होगा सो ऑल दीज नेम्स मैंशन अब आर स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स विच आर यूज टू मैन्युफैक्चर दीज प्रोडक्ट्स इंटरेस्टिंग राइट हेलो एवरी वन आई एम पीयूष एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनादर सेक्टर एनालिसिस वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग सेक्टर इन इंडिया स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स सो वी विल लुक एट वॉट आर स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स हाउ आर देर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नॉर्मल केमिकल्स सम कंपनीज दैट मैन्युफैक्चर दम एंड देयर फ्यूचर ग्रोथ प्रोस्पेक्ट एंड फाइनली सम ऑप्शन टू इन्वेस्ट इन दिस सेक्टर राइट फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर टू कंस्ट्रक्शन केमिकल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मोर देन एटी थाउजेंड प्रोडक्ट्स Among these, some require specialized formulations, which are fulfilled by specialty chemicals. The chemical sector is mainly divided into two parts. One is bulk or commodity chemicals, and the other is specialty chemicals. Bulk chemicals can be considered as raw materials, which are required to produce specialty chemicals. These are produced in large quantities and hence inexpensive, and the profit margins are also less. Also, the requirement of these bulk chemicals is cyclical, hence the companies have a hard time in maintaining consistent sales figures. On the other hand, specialty chemicals are made from a mixture of different base chemicals and are customized for a single use or product. As these chemicals are essential for particular applications, their demand is steady throughout. You can compare bulk chemicals with hot milk, where you just need milk and gas to heat it. Specialty chemicals are more like making mango ice cream, where you need milk, sugar, mango flavoring and some other special agents to make the ice cream. In India companies like Gujarat Alkalis, Meghmani Organics and Deepak Nitrate are some of the manufacturers of bulk chemicals while Aarti Industries, Navin Fluorine, Rosary Biotech, Clean Science and Fine Organic are some of the companies that manufacture specialty chemicals. Do you know which was the first specialty chemical stock that got listed on the stock exchange in 2020? The Indian chemical sector has grown at a CAGR of 17% from 2016 to 2019. outperforming the world average of 8% in the same period the indian specialty chemical sector is one of the fastest growing sectors in the world which ranks third in asia and sixth largest in the entire world in terms of output currently in 2022 it is growing at a cagr of 9.3% and with the forecasted rising demands the growth will be more in the times to come right now india holds around 3% of the total market share in the entire world and is expected to capture more market share soon According to Indian Express the industry was worth 178 billion dollars in 2019 and is expected to cross 300 billion dollars by 2025 at a rate of 9.3% but the specialty chemical sector which holds around 20 to 25% of the entire chemical sector is set to grow at a faster rate of 12.5% which is higher than the Indian benchmark of Nifty 50 another factor that supports this growth rate is projected GDP which is around 7.5% Some of the key industries that contribute to the GDP are textiles, auto, construction and consumer durables and all these are catered to by specialty chemicals. Here is a segment breakup of specialty chemicals that are used in India. And as you can see the majority of the market is captured by agrochemicals as well as dyes and pigments. Comment below the products that you use on daily basis and you think it requires specialty chemicals to manufacture. Since 2019, specialty chemical sector has also seen an increase in demand for flavors and fragrances, personal care chemicals and surfactants due to increased consumption of hygiene products, packaged foods, energy drinks during the pandemic. Even now, people are preferring healthier and environment friendly products which will increase the demand for specialty chemicals. For example, to obtain clean drinking water, specialty chemicals and polymers are used to process the water. Similarly, there are other use cases such as keeping the food fresh. where natural additives are used with preservatives in almost all fmcg products do you know which company manufactures fevicol comment your answers below and we will pin the right ones beside these numbers there was another development which gave a push to the indian specialty chemical sector earlier china was the biggest supplier of specialty chemicals mainly because they were able to provide them at an extremely cheap rate but this came at a cost of high pollution from burning coal that powered the chemical plants in the country now to control this problem multiple laws and penalties were imposed on these polluting plants and because of this the chemical sector took a massive hit and this resulted in exports and profit margins falling significantly here was the opportunity for indian specialty chemical industry as china struggled to keep up with the supply global buyers started looking for cleaner and greener solutions and india had already spent and adhered to the emission norms now china is unable to flood the global markets with its cheap supply 
and Indian companies managed to grab the market share from China. The Indian companies were able to fetch a higher rate in the global markets, which resulted in increase in the profitability. The EBITDA of the Indian chemical companies has increased from 16% in 2015 to 27% in 2020, which is a jump of around 68%. To start with, the barriers to entry is quite high. Due to multiple reasons such as high capital requirement, the need for expertise and intense research and development, and the limited number of players who have captured a substantial number of consumer base, making it more of an oligopolistic sector. To increase the hindrances, the existing players are focusing less on the product and more on the customer support and service to build a good relationship with the customers. Most of the specialty chemicals are patented, hence it's impossible for other manufacturers to copy and sell the same product. This also increases the pricing power of the company. Moreover, the companies are managing to keep their margins on specialty chemicals intact as they pass on the additional cost to the end users. These factors make specialty chemical sector more attractive than the old plain chemical sector. The recent shift in the market dynamics is also visible in the stock prices. Companies like Fine Organics, Vinati Organics and Alkylamines have given astonishing returns of more than 300% in last 5 years. Great, right? Although these stocks might seem like exceptions, but that's not the case. The industry as a whole has bloomed in past few years. Moving forward, even if China manages to increase its exports, they will not have the pricing power as before. Besides this, the government of India is also supporting this industry with various initiatives, such as reducing basic custom duty on several imported products and production-linked incentives or PLI schemes for manufacturing of advanced cell chemistry battery under Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Considering all these points, it is expected that this sector will grow at double-digit speeds and the top companies in this sector seem to have good growth opportunities. So if you are interested to invest in this sector but don't want to go through all the hard work where you have to research the stocks, go through their annual reports and compare them with each other, you can simply check small cases managed by SEBI registered professionals. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we keep posting informative content frequently. And if you want to know about the insurance sector in India, Check out this video.